carpal tunnel syndrome typically the patient awakens with painful tingling sensation over the radial side of the hand there is often a loss of dexterity of the muscle abductor pollicis brevis and altered sensation over thumb index finger middle finger and partly the ring finger the tinnels percussion sign or phalanx test might be positive or there could be thinar eminence wasting and electrophysiological data to confirm this carpal tunnel syndrome treatment includes splinting the wrist in the extension at night injection of steroids into the carpal canal and surgical release of the transverse carpal ligament there are different causes of carpal tunnel syndrome rheumatoid arthritis myxoedema acromegaly primary amyloidosis compression of medial nerve by edema fracture fibrosis fasciitis or tenosynovitis osteoarthritis rarely and over exposure to vibrations especially drivers of tractor or other heavy motors diabetes mellitus also can cause of carpal tunnel syndrome sometimes an idiopathic cause where the cause of this is unknown the compression of medial nerve at the carpal tunnel at the wrist complaints are like pain paresthesia numbness are common this is specially common in female patient this is a bit, a bit of in, introduction and understanding about carpal tunnel syndrome why we are discussing carpal tunnel syndrome in this context is from i am well integrated medical team under the guidance of dr shashikant we have designed a combination of integrative therapies which are using different aspects of conventional remedies like acupuncture night splinting ayurveda or some of the anti inflammatory medicals so we are offering an integrated medical therapy for carpal tunnel syndrome in which we use a systematic acupuncture methods combination of ayurveda some stress management techniques and some of the yogic con- concepts in the treatment of carpal tunnel syndrome as an adjuvant therapy along with standard medical care so all the patients who are all diagnosed as carpal tunnel syndrome their electrophysiological parameters especially nerve conduction velocities are calculated for example prolonged distal motor latency which means prolonged dml more than or equal to 4.2 milliseconds prolonged antidromic distal sensory latency especially the second digit 
3.6 milliseconds or more reduced wrist palm sensory conduction velocity less than 40 milliseconds these are three electrophysiological criteria to diagnose carpal tunnel syndrome and all the patients who are there coming to us are already being treated in the conventional medical care and they are opting for an integrative medical care and services from Dr. Shashikant, the director of Amwell Integrated Medical Center. What we do here usually I'll share a series of small videos with you to show that how beautifully we combine the combination of ancient healing technique of Ayurveda with the modern evidences and we also use few adjuvant therapies along with conventional care. Acupuncture, especially we use points like PC7 or PC6, LU8, LU11, LI5, LI4, TB5, KD15, TB2, LV10. So these are few points which we use in carpal tunnel syndrome. So there is a one research of acupuncture on CTS using functional brain MRI. It states that functional brain MRI causes a change in the brain processing or a coordinated limbic response which can be detected with your functional brain MRI. Another research states that there could be an anti-inflammatory and immunomodulator effect and also pain perception changes, probably a release of some endorphins or encephalins. So go through the series of a video demonstration of an actual carpal tunnel syndrome patient who has recently admitted with us. We have done an abhanga, an Ayurvedic therapeutic massage module using a pain relief oil, some combinations like Bala Ashwagandha Thaila, Sacharadi Thaila, Pinda Thaila and few other medicated oils are being used. For your information, there are more than 1000 varieties of pain oils in Ayurveda. If at all you are keen to know, it is very interesting and in-depth subject which most people of this modern India are not focusing on to their heritage of Ayurveda and Yoga. So with an attempt to bring forth a traditional Ayurvedic system in conjunction with modern medical system with as much evidences as possible we are offering these services of integrative medical therapies under the guidance of Dr. Shashikant, the director of I am well integrated medical center.